Hey guys, welcome back. This is a uh, follow-up video to my original video on this wildlife control ammunition. And if you haven't seen it yet, I have a, uh, a video on shooting this stuff at some watermelons. And funny enough, I say in the video I would like to do like a Paul Harrell type thing. And pa Paul Harrell did a video on these right after that. Or just recently. And except... Their purpose in the U.S. seems to be much more for non-lethal home defense, which is not the intent in Canada, at least on the packaging. It's for wildlife control. Um, so anyways, I, I showed how it, uh, the effect it had on a watermelon, which was pretty significant, I thought. But I wanted to see about accuracy with the things, because they say... 50 yards. That's pretty much the range they give on them. So what I've got going on here, I might use this as a rest, but I've got a big chunk of cardboard down there with a black dot painted on it. And that is 50 yards away, or 50 of my paces. So I'm going to take a couple shots with regular slugs, two and three quarter inch Winchester slugs. And I'm going to take two shots with the slugs, and then I'm going to take a shot with this, and let's just see where it lands on that cardboard. So let's have a go. I'm going to get my trusty Remington 870, put some ears on, and we'll do it. Okay, so yeah, these things, uh, they say 600 feet per second. Uh, the Winchester slugs say 1,600 feet per second, so that's quite a bit different. So let's see what happens at 50 yards. I'm just going to try and put my that front bead right on top of that black dot, and we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, should be interesting here. I got my... Gun. Got my... Got my Remington 870 loaded up, ready to rock and roll. Mrs. West Coaster has her eyes and her ears on. Here comes the rubber. Oh boy, that was sure significantly less. Yeah. All right, well, let's go have a look. Well, look at that. That's not too bad. We've got, I've got the other camera going, hopefully we'll see, but I'm pretty sure these would be the first two shots, the first two slugs, and the rubber slug, which tore through the cardboard. Looks like it was maybe not quite flying straight anymore. It's hard to say, but it's not a perfect hole like the other two. But hey, at 50 yards, at 50 yards, I would say, yeah, that still works. Hey, check it out, I found it. I'm going to save these things. I had a, uh, a suggestion that I try and reload these, and I, uh, I like the idea. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to save them when I can find them. Okay, thanks again. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Thanks, guys.